welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina and this is the Beauty Rookie. Before we get started on what this video is about, I wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you who supported me on my first video, who came and watched, who left sweet comments. It really meant a lot to me. And yeah, you just can't imagine, you know, putting yourself out there and you know, becoming vulnerable it's difficult and I was really scared and you guys were incredibly sweet so thank you and thank you for subscribing and if you like this video please like it and subscribe to this one as well I would love if we learned together and yeah and just got better together <laughs> so as you guessed from the title this video is a little mini review on Linda Halberg cosmetics I first heard about Linda Halberg on probably Pinterest when that was like a really big deal um, and then later Instagram. She is a Swedish makeup artist. She's incredibly talented. There's probably a good chance that you have saved some of her photos and didn't even know that was her. Her artistry skills are incredible and she's really beautiful way cooler than I will ever be um, and I just love her aesthetic. I became intrigued by her products because I watched a video that Puffin's wife did. If you don't follow Puffin's wife you're missing out. You need to. I will link her down below and you can check her out but she did a video on one of the palettes that I bought and yes I bought it just because she told me to <laughs> but yeah she just she is also way cooler than I am by the way I was also really intrigued by the brand because I really liked the aesthetic of it it just it kind of gave me a little bit of milk cosmetics vibes you know it's dark and edgy and again cooler than I am and I just thought it looked really interesting so I decided to check out two of their palettes, uh, one being the Infinity Palette, which is this one here, right there, and it's a multi-use palette that you can use on your eyes and your face. I'm wearing everything today, and I'll go over that a little bit. Um, I tried to film a tutorial, but my skill level is just not there yet. It's taken me about four hours to film this video. I've been trying all day long. I have a toddler, I have a new puppy. It's impossible. They've been hiding under this table over here, making noise, just tearing up wrappers, running around, you know, being quiet is actually like humming to themselves, which is just not quiet. So I made him go into his playroom. Um, it's just life as a mom. You know, you watch these videos and you think they're gonna be easy. You know, you're like, how hard can it be? There's a reason why a lot of beauty bloggers on the internet do not have children and they can spend all day on Snapchat. It's just not, I mean, hey, I'm not hating on that. Like when I was, you know, 20 something, I would have totally done that too. But I'm 33 years old and this is really hard. It's really hard to film. It's really, really hard. Uh, so forgive me for the technical difficulties today, but it has been a day and so I wanted to get a tutorial for you, but just, just didn't get done today. Anyways, back to the review. So I bought the Infinity Palette, which is a multi-use palette. Uh, all her products are vegan and cruelty free, if that's important to you. I know a lot of us are trying to go cruelty free this year. I am making a very big effort to be more conscious of what I'm bringing into my home and what I'm spending my money on. While I can't say that I am 100% cruelty free at this very moment, because I'm not, and I'm also not going to throw away money that I've invested, you know, in my collection, I am making more of a concerted effort to see what I'm buying, bring less clutter, pare things down, and you know, be more aware of where my money is going. And I don't want to hurt little animals, so uh, yeah, animal testing should never be in your products if you can help it. 
That said, this brand is a good one if you are cruelty free. The other product that I picked up was the Metallic Mysteries palette, which is this little guy. And here's a size comparison so you get an idea. This one only comes with four shades, but they are just incredibly stunning. The products are shipped from Sweden and I was incredibly amazed because I don't even get my Ulta stuff here in the US in three days, okay? This came in three days. It came in this awesome pouch packaged so beautifully no chance of anything getting broken like sephora thank you very much and i was already impressed with everything before i even got into the products but let's talk about the products and i will also swatch a few things for you so the first thing i want to talk about is the infinity palette so this is going to be your multi-use palette if you are an artist if you are starting out if you are a mom on the go you want to simplify your makeup routine for me lately that's kind of been a big thing you know i am a makeup collector i have a lot of makeup but lately i just have been getting stressed out by having so many things that are not getting used. And I'm very good about rotating my makeup every two weeks, um, probably every other Monday, I rotate my makeup and try to get use out of things. But I have just found that if I have multi-use products, if I have things that I can just grab and not think about, and that's my go-to, I'm really into it. I use it more and I can be out the door really quickly. You know, on a date night, I like to sit down and take my time with makeup, but for every day, for somebody like me, you kind of want something fast. Ish. My gripe with this would be that I wish they had one more palette just for your deeper skin tones. Cause I do think anyone that is my complexion or lighter and possibly a little bit deeper, like a medium would get a lot of use out of this. I'm sure Linda Halberg made this for her own. She's very fair and you know this was probably like the prototype. I know that it's been reformulated from the original launch so I wouldn't be surprised if she came out with another color story but it is a little bit disappointing because while every color of the rainbow can use every single one of these shades for shadow or blush um, I don't think that the contour shade and the bronzer shade are universal for all skin tones. Um, but you can use them in some way. So, you, so, and this goes with any powder product. You do not have to use powder products how they are intended to be used. A highlighter can be a shadow. A contour powder can be an eyeshadow. An eyeshadow can be a blush. You know, there are no rules really to makeup. You can do what you want to do. I remember being super broke and, you know, having like a tub of Vaseline and for me to make lipstick like I had one little NYX eyeshadow palette and I would like take that and mix it with Vaseline and that would be my lipstick and I would make a cream blush out of it and make a you know you get creative right so makeup has no rules something like this can be used in many different ways so just because the shades don't fit you as contour or bronzer shades it doesn't mean that you can't use them but I do wish that she had one available with contour shades for a darker skin tone. That's my little rant with that. That said, these powders are beautiful. They are pigmented, but not too pigmented to the point where you swipe on your face and you're just horrified that there's just nothing but pigment on your face. They are very buildable. I think these are amazing if you are starting out your kit it's $45 I believe let me look yes it's $45 it's got everything you would need for a client and you could even do your eyebrows with this if you have dark brows I didn't do my brows today with this but I did use cigar as a contour which for me is the perfect contour shade it just gives a very natural shade of shadow you want something a little bit ashier, a little bit cooler toned to contour your face, but you don't want it to be so cool toned that it kind of makes you look sallow or, you know, dead. <laughs> um, so I, I really like it. I think it can be sheared out, you know, in, in shadow. I also have it running through my crease. 
I love it. I think it's very comparable to Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder and Medium. If you like that, you'd really like this and it's really nice to have it in an all-in-one palette. That little thing that I have is like so small and I always lose it, so I like having it in this. Uh, Zwicky is what I used to bronze a little bit today. It's not my most favorite bronze shade, I will be honest with you. It's a little bit on the mustard side. If I'm very light-handed, it can look amazing. But it's a perfect transition shade for any warm look that you want to do. Um, sorry, my puppy is crying. I think it's a perfect shade of eyeshadow. And you can use it as a bronzer, by the way. I just, it's, it's probably just a little too mustardy for me, but... I like it and I can use it. This black is incredibly beautiful. It's You can build it really well. You can sheer it out. You can just very barely smoke it. I have it on um, the outer corner and my lower lash line kind of just smudged a little bit. It's almost a grayish black. It's not like a dark matte black. It's, you can see, there's almost a little of a smoke to it and a little bit of gray, which I think is flattering. I don't necessarily love a stark black. While they are necessary for many looks, I tend to think that it's more wearable to have something buildable, to have something not as stark. Just my personal preference. I would say that the blushes are the most pigmented powders in the palette. One tap is all you need and you might even need to tap it off. That said, the, they are very smooth, they blend really well, they apply really well, and they're very flattering shades. You have a little bit of a coral with a sheen, like that, which I'm wearing today. And then you have more of a cool tone, but with a mauve um, undertone pink, which is this one, you have them right there. And I think they're beautiful. Uh, it's not, while pinwheel, I think it's supposed to be a matte, it's not a flat matte. I, I would say it's more of a satin. And I would say Andromeda, while it does have shimmer, I would say it's an illuminating blush, but I would definitely not say it's sparkly. It's not sparkly. It's so, the shimmers in there are so, so finely milled that it just kind of gives you like a sheen to the skin. Um, a more so, a less subtle sheen than the other shade, which is Pinwheel. Then you have your two bottom shades down here, um, which are going to be your highlight shades, and you use them as highlighter. I'm using, um, no, I'm not using it. I thought I, I'm using it on the brow bone, but I'm not using it on the inner corner. I'm using something else on the inner corner. Um, this one is a little bit deeper. It's more like a cream color, and this one is more of a bone. They both have a little bit of sheen slash shimmer to them, and there they are. The form, the texture of these are very similar to like an Anastasia Beverly Hills or like the Becca Pressed powders. Um, they're very emollient, very buttery. I really think that these are amazing as highlight. Um, they just blend really well, and then they kind of melt into your skin. I definitely like this one better. It just pops a little bit more. I'm wearing it today. They're beautiful. I think this palette altogether is a home run. I have been reaching for it constantly, at least for cigar, for my contour shade, just because it's so perfect. And I really just love this Milky Way color in the inner corner, and I don't know, I just think it's wonderful. So I highly recommend this, highly recommend it. I'm really glad I hadn't seen a lot of videos on this, and the ones that I saw were in Swedish. So I thought it might be helpful for you, but I definitely think it's worth the money 100%. Let me go ahead and swatch the four matte shades just so you can get an idea of what those look like. Um, Mafai is my skin tone, which you just won't really see, but it is wonderful to blend out anything on your eye and, let's see. So let's see, this one, this one is, Ma whoops. This one is Mafai, which is more of a skin tone for me. 
This one is Cigar, this one is Wiki, and then this one is Fornax, which you can see, I mean, they are very, very pigmented. So if you're looking for something to make your life easier or you wanna to add to your kit, I think this is wonderful. I highly recommend it. I am not a working makeup artist. I am not a makeup artist at all, and I really enjoy it. So if I can get use out of it, anyone can, honestly. The next product that I bought was the Metallic Mystery Palette. Um, this one is more expensive. It's 59. It only comes with four shadows, but the size of the pans are also generous, but that design is just stunning. They are meant to be used wet or dry. They're versatile shades. You can also use them on your face as highlight. There are no limits to this is what it explained on the website. I'll be honest with you, I really only bought it because of Puffin's wife seeing her tutorial. I just thought it looked so beautiful on her, but really because they looked like crystal geodes and I, I don't know, I was like mesmerized and I really wanted to try it. They have another one um, which is more like pastel tones that I didn't think that I would get as much use out of, so I got this I one. I am wearing Death Star all over the lid, which is the purple shade. As you can see right there, I think it's stunning. I applied it with my fingers and I just think it's just really beautiful. I wanted to show you how you can take something that is you know, really shimmery and has more impact. When you use this wet, it is way more metallic and foil than what I'm doing right now. But I wanted to show you how you can take something like this and you can have it be a little bit softer and a little more, more wearable for, you know, someone like me that, you know, might need to go to the grocery store or to pick up her kid after putting on makeup. Not that I wouldn't, I actually would go pick up my kid with a metallic eyelid on, but you know, we need options, right? So I like how the look turned out. It's not anything, you know, super fancy or spectacular, but... I just wanted to show it to you. The texture of these are just beautiful. They remind me so much of the Pat McGrath shadows. And if you've had your eye on those and you don't think that you would get use out of the entire palette of Pat McGrath and you're a little bit scared to even have that many shades for the price that the, the Pat McGrath palette is, you know, this is $60, a little bit cheaper, a little less expensive and you know it might you might get more use out of it simply because it they just have less less is more sometimes so you might get more use out of it I am wearing I'm wearing bang which you can't see very well but it's this white shade in the inner corner right there and I think it's also beautiful it is very just I don't know how to explain the texture of these guys. They're just like powdered sugar almost. It's like a powdered sugar silky feeling. They just feel wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and show you swatches of Bang, which is the white, Collision, which is gold, Gamma, which is copper, and Death Star, which is the purple, which is right there. As you can see, they are incredibly like a foiled looking shade. And when you do use a, you know, Fix Plus on it, it just intensifies it. Um, I just didn't today because I actually have to go do stuff after this. So overall, I, I love these. I think they're beautiful. If you don't have any kind of, if you don't have any of these shades, I would really recommend them. They almost have like a duo chrome quality to some of them. They are a really unique texture. They look beautiful. You can apply them with your fingers, which is super easy. I think that's one of the cool things about this brand is that it's like a cool girl aesthetic for, or cool guy, if you will, for somebody that may not have a lot of time, doesn't want to fuss a lot with their look in general, but you want to look, you know, cool and effortless. I, I love it. I think it's a great start an introduction for me to the brand so I think it'd be a great introduction for you to the brand I'm really excited to order her flash crayons which I've heard nothing but amazing things for about and then also her um, sponge her face sponge which is like a beauty blender dupe I've heard awesome things her brushes are supposed to be amazing so after trying these products I've been incredibly impressed I want to try them all 
I'm not sponsored. I have like 10 followers and <laughs> she's, while she did repost one of my photos um, when I received my package, she does not know who I am. But hey, I mean, hi Linda, I'm a big fan. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that review. For me, it was well worth the money. I'm very glad that I tried the brand. I will be checking out more products and I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you tried Linda Halberg? Do you want to try Linda Halberg? What intrigues you the most out of her products? And what do you recommend that I try next? Because I am certainly not done. I definitely want more and I will buy more. Although I am on a low buy because I told you that I'm getting stressed out. Also, before I say goodbye today, I did want to ask you guys a question and I would love your feedback. Um, I would like this channel to be about beauty because it's a passion of mine and I really love it, but as we all are multifaceted and multidimensional, as am I, I have other interests and things going on in my life. One of those things happens to be infertility. I have struggled with infertility my whole life, um, but didn't really become aware of it till I was 23 or 24. Um, I do have a son. I've been very blessed. Um, I did go th through a lot to have him. And if you want a video just on infertility, I would love to do that. But that's my question for you. Do you want me to share a different part of life or do you want to keep this channel to just be beauty related because I would love to do something like fertility Fridays or something like that where we can kind of talk about the journey of infertility you know what I've gone through and I can take you guys on the next part of my journey which my husband and I are um, starting the adoption process for an uh, to do an embryo adoption which is scary and fun and just everything and I'd be totally happy and willing to bring you guys along that journey with me if you want me to vlog it. I would not be doing anything super crazy. I would probably be just like this using my phone and just taking you along the journey with me. The you know the process of paperwork and some of what goes through the home study and just everything that goes along with it and take you to a doctor's appointments and all that stuff. If any of you are curious on that side of the world, one in seven people struggle with infertility. And if I can be of any kind of support to you, I hope I can. And yeah, so let me know what you think about that. If I should add, you know, a different flavor to this channel so it's not just another beauty channel. And let me know what you want to see next. I have a Marc Jacobs first impression unboxing type of haul situation coming up. Hopefully that one doesn't take four hours to film. And I hope you liked this video. Kind of a hot mess. Kind of whatever. <laughs> this hair. Whatever, guys. All right. I'm tired of rambling. You're tired of hearing me ramble. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today and please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.